Hi, this is Rushali and you are watching Rushali Raj Classes YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to continue exercise 12.1 of some applications of trigonometry. 13 sums are already done of this exercise and in this video, we are going to cover the remaining last 3 sums that is problem number 14, 15 and 16 we are going to cover in this video. So to understand these three problems properly, you have to watch this video properly till end. And before I start the first problem, I would like to request all of you to subscribe our channel so that you will get the regular updates of whatever videos we upload here. So let's start with problem number 14. A 1.2 meters tall girl spots a balloon moving with the wind in the horizontal line at a height of 88.2 meters from the ground. The angle of elevation of the balloon from the eyes of the girl at any instant is 60 degrees. After some time, the angle of elevation reduces to 30 degrees. Find the distance traveled by the balloon during the interval. So here we have to find the distance traveled by the balloon. So to solve this problem, the first requirement is the exact thing. So this is the required figure for this problem. Here 1.2 meters tall girl. Okay, she is observing the balloon here. And at first the angle of elevation is 60 degrees. Later the balloon moves to position CD. And here the angle of elevation is 30 degrees. Here the balloon is at the height of 88.2 meters from the ground. And here the height of the girl is 1.2 meters. So using this information we have to find the distance traveled by the balloon during this interval means we have to find what is this BD because the balloon is moving from this position AB to the position CD. So this BD we have to find here. Here PQ which is the height of the girl is 1.2 meters. So DE, DE is also 1.2 meters. So CD is 88.2 minus 1.2 that is 87 meters. Okay. Now this information we have. So let us start solving this sum. First we will consider triangle APB. Okay. In the triangle APB, in this triangle APB, tan P. Tan P is opposite side upon adjacent side. Here, measure of angle P is 60 degrees. So, tan 60 is AB upon PB. AB upon PB. Tan 60 is root 3. Root 3 is equal to. Now, here AB. AB is equal to CD. So what is our CD? 87. So even AB is 87 upon PB. So PB is equal to 87 upon root 3 meters. PB is equal to 87 upon root 3 meters. Fine. Now let us consider triangle CPD. Okay, we will consider triangle CPD in triangle CPD. Now, in this case, tan P is equal to opposite side upon adjacent side. Now, for this triangle CPD, tan P, measure of angle P is 30 degrees. Tan 30 is equal to opposite side is CD upon P, D. C, D upon P, D. Tan 30 is 1 upon root 3. 1 upon root 3 is equal to C, D. C, D is 87 meters. 87 upon P, D. P, D is here. P, B plus B, D. P, B plus BD. Okay. Let us cross multiply first. PB plus BD is equal to 
87 root 3. And what is our PB? 87 upon root 3. Let us substitute this. 87 upon root 3 plus BD is equal to 87 root 3. Now what we have to find? We have to find BD. So by simple solving here, we will get the value of BD. BD is equal to 87 root 3 minus 87 upon root 3. Here LCM is root 3. Cross multiply. 87 root 3 into root 3 is 87 into 3. So 87 into 3. 87 into 3 is 261. 261 minus 87. Okay, 261 minus 87. 261 minus 87. 4, 7, 174. 174 upon root 3. Now, this is the value what we get of BD. 174 upon root 3. But denominator, it should not be an irrational number. So, here we have to Rationalize the denominator. Rationalizing factor root 3 upon root 3. So 174 into root 3 upon 3. 3 5 sum, 8 sum. 58 root 3. 58 root 3. So here the distance travelled by the balloon is 58 root 3. Meters, we have to write the distance traveled by the balloon is fifty eight root three meters. This is our answer. So here we complete our problem number fourteen. Let's move to problem number 15. Problem number 15. A straight highway leads to a foot of a tower. A man standing at the top of the tower observes a car at an angle of depression of 30 degrees, which is approaching the foot of the tower with a uniform speed. Six seconds later, the angle of depression of the car is found to be 60 degrees. Find the time taken by the car to reach the Foot of the tower from this point. Now this problem is a little bit different. So first let us draw the required figure for this problem. Now here this is the required figure for this problem. First the car is at position D. Then in 6 seconds it moves to position C. And we have to find how much time this will take to reach the foot of this tower. Okay. Angle of depression, okay, in first case it is 30 degrees and later it is 60 degrees. Angle of depression, here first it is 30 degrees, then it becomes 60 degrees. So from this we can say here as this is 30 degrees, angle ADC is 30 and angle ACB is 60 degrees. We have to find the time taken, okay, we have to find the time taken here. To cover this distance, the car is taking 6 seconds. Okay, Let us start solving this. Here, first in triangle ADB. Okay, in the triangle ADB. In triangle ADB, tan D. Tan D is opposite side upon adjacent side. Tan D, here measure of angle D is 30 degrees is equal to AB upon BD. AD upon BD. Tan 30. Tan 30 is 1 upon root 3 is equal to AB upon BD. So from this we get AB is equal to BD upon root 3. AB is equal to BD upon root 3. Fine. Now let us come to this triangle ACB. In the triangle ACB, now in this case, tan C, its opposite side, a 
upon adjacent side. Now here tan C, measure of angle C in this is 60 degrees, opposite side is AB and adjacent side is BC. Tan 60 is root 3, AB upon BC. Now from this what we get? We get AB is equal to BC into root 3. Let us equate this now. AB is equal to BD upon root 3 and here AB is equal to BC root 3. Let us equate this. BD upon root 3 is equal to BC into root 3. Cross multiply. BD is equal to BC root 3 into root 3. Root 3 into root 3, we get 3. So here, 3 BC. Okay. Now after solving, what did we get here? BD is equal to 3 BC. Now what is BD? BD is CD plus BC. CD plus BC. Okay. CD plus BC is equal to 3 BC. CD is equal to 3 BC minus BC that is equal to twice BC. So if CD is equal to 2 times BC, BC is equal to CD upon 2. We want this. Because what is given here, the time taken to cover the distance of CD is 6 seconds and we have to find the time taken to cover this distance BC. Fine. So here to cover the distance of CD, time taken is 6 seconds. So to cover this distance, that is BC, how much time the car will take? And what is our BC? It's CD upon 2. Okay, CD upon 2. So here time taken, okay, time taken is 6 into BC upon CD. And BC is CD upon 2. 6 into CD upon 2 and this upon CD. CD and CD cancel to 1s are, to 3s are. So here time taken is 3 seconds. So time taken by the car to reach the foot of the tower is 3 seconds. Time taken by the car to reach the foot of the tower is 3 seconds. So this sum was quite different but it was not so difficult, isn't it? Now, let's move to the last problem of this exercise. Last problem. Problem number 16 of exercise 12.1. Problem number 16. The angles of elevation of the top of the tower from two points at the distance of 4 meters and 9 meters from the base of the tower and in the same straight line with it are complementary. Prove that the height of the tower is 6 meters. Let us draw the required figure for this problem. This is the required figure for our problem number 16. Here AB is our tower. First, okay, first it is observed from this point C and later it is observed from point D. Point C is at 4 meters from this point B and point D is at 9 meters from this point B. Point B is nothing but the, we can say foot of the tower. Now we have to prove that the height of the tower is 6 meters. Here they have not given the measure of the angle. They have not given the correct measure of the angle. But what they have said that here these angles are complementary. They are complement of each other. So we can say the angle D is 90 minus C. Complementary angle. Isn't it? Complementary angles means what? The sum of the measures of the angle is 90 degrees. So complement of this is <coughs> measure of angle D is 
90 minus C or we can take measure of angle C as 90 minus D. Anyhow we can take. Okay. So in this first case, in the triangle ABC, okay, in triangle ABC, tan C is opposite side upon adjacent side. Tan C is AB upon BC. Tan C is AB upon BC is 4. Now as I have said, angle D is complementary. So let us say angle D is 90 minus angle C. So now in triangle ABD, in triangle ABD, in this case, tan D, tan is opposite side upon adjacent side. And here, measure of angle D is 90 minus C. Opposite side is AB and adjacent side is BD. Now, complementary ratios of the angles. Tan 90 minus C. Tan 90 minus C is cot C is equal to AB upon BD is 9. Okay, BD is 9. So here what we have tan C is equal to AB upon 4 and cot C is equal to AB upon 9. Let's multiply this. Tan C into cot C is equal to AB upon 4 into AB upon 9. Cot C. Cot is nothing but 1 upon tan is equal to AB square upon 36. Tan C, tan C cancel. So what we have here? 1 is equal to AB square upon 36. This means AB square is equal to 36. AB square is equal to 36. So AB is square root of 36. Square root of 36 is 6. And this is what we have to prove here. That prove that the height of the tower is 6 meters. Therefore, the height of the tower is equal to 6 meters. So here we complete exercise 12.1 of some applications of trigonometry. All the 16 problems are done. So to get the regular updates of such useful videos, please do subscribe our channel that is Rishiraj classes. And as these videos are for the students of standard 10, please do share these videos among maximum students of standard 10. Thank you so much for watching this video.